On the 13th of September, rank reset, I began Killer Hardcore, where I play every killer until I either hit Iridescent 1 or lost them all. Did I manage this? And what did we learn? Before we follow the journey of Hardcore, we must first understand the rules and what's at stake. For a killer to remain in the challenge, I needed to kill three or four survivors in the trial. Anything less, and that killer would be lost for the remainder of the challenge. I would have to play the killers in order of their character portraits on the killer page, playing them one at a time to prevent me from entering a rhythm and adding an extra level of difficulty as all of the killers would play differently. On top of this, I was not allowed to use add-ons. However, I was allowed to use any perk open to me. And my builds used in this challenge can be found on the Google Sheet, which is linked in the description. And finally, I believe that the game is more fun to play when not camping, tunneling, or slugging. So in this challenge, I tried to not participate in these strategies to prove that a challenge of this difficulty can be completed with fair play. Overall, the challenge lasted seven days and was streamed live on Twitch. Let's see what happened. On the first day, I began with Trapper, arguably the weakest killer in the game, and one that I've had relatively no experience on. In practice, I was rolled every game, only really getting kills as thanks to No Way Out. With this being said, I loaded into the trial with this build, and to my surprise, killed all of the survivors, starting the challenge off with a strong double pip. That's it. That's the challenge. If I can win as Trapper, I can win as anyone. And that's what happened. Game after game, pips were being claimed, ranks were being climbed until we found our first competition, Fractured Cowshed, with Michael. Now, for those that aren't aware, Fractured Cowshed is known as being a somewhat survivor salad map, having nice connecting tiles and friendly generator spacings. On top of this, the corn makes it naturally difficult to track survivors. Oh, and on top of this, I was Michael, who happens to be the least stealthy stealth killer when it comes to Coldwin. As the game progressed, it was clear we were going to struggle, having only achieved tier 3 evil within once this entire game, due to poor play from myself and effective play from the survivors. Myers was on the brink of being knocked out until endgame, where I'd managed to kill one survivor and was in chase with another. They've not left yet? We just have to monitor this person's movement. There it is. Wait, someone left? No, someone else leaves! There we go, it's a down. It's a down. Okay, let's get you hooked up. I really hope the other near doesn't. How's the challenge going so far? We've saved every single killer. They left? No! Myers! Funk, we lost Myers, Ryu. We lost Myers. Myers became the first victim of the challenge. But if we were honest, we kind of expected this one. Myers is a weak killer in general, but to pair that with Cowshed, it was always a recipe for disaster. We picked ourselves up and played Hag, securing another double pit against our first sussy group. Once again, the double pips continued until we came against a strong team on Dead Dog with Clown, where despite our 10 hook game, we fell short, losing our second killer in the challenge. But this didn't stop me or chat believing in the possibility of success. We continued and finished the day with a Legion double pip, ending day one of the challenge with 23 pips at Bronze 2, but only 27 killers left. Day 2 began similar to Day 1, getting a double pit with Plague. However, Game 2 was the return of Coldwin, and again on a stealth killer. I knew that I had to play well, and lever every advantage I had. Fortunately for me, there was a DC, so the game was pretty much over when it began. Here, I should mention that as every game could yield a pit, DCs must be counted as a kill. Following this game, it was Demo's turn in the spotlight. However, not the spotlight of the stream, but the glaring sun of the Eerie of Crows. A horrible map for many killers, this could be bad. But to rub salt into the wound, I was matched against an Ace Swift. Dead hardwood is the only thing, I think. You've got the, the pallet. Yeah. Okay, we get a hit on Claude. I don't really want Claude to leave. Don't leave, please, Claude. Don't leave. Thank you. Okay, are they healing? You're there. Okay, the other Ace is there. Got a little bit of time. Okay. Try and catch the Claude out. No, the Claude left. That's Demo. Demo's gone. <laughs> no. With losing a killer so early in the day, I knew that I had to refocus myself and play solid for the remainder of the stream. And I did once again hit my stride, getting 4K after 4K until I found the Garden of Pain with twins. It ended how you'd think. We only need two more. It's possible. We jumped over. Please don't kick. Please don't kick. Okay, big. Hello, Wild Wolf Man. I hope you're doing well. And Claude went for the heal. Claude. Jump, please. Claude, please go down. Claude, please go down. Claude, please. But Wild Wolf Man, I hope you're doing well. Dead hard, dead hard, dead hard. Okay, cool. Nia, please. Stop it. Okay, people are up. People are up. Okay, I know the other door is, uh, is where they want to get to. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't have dead hard. Don't have it. 
Okay, nice. Okay, pick up, pick up, pick up. You're gonna walk out. Be a wild wolf man, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Okie dokie, near. You gonna do it? They got the pickup? No way they got the pickup. Come on, they went for the unhook. Oh no, don't leave. Fuck. <laughs> After losing two killers, my mental was shattered. All hope of winning the challenge was being thrown out losing this many killers this early on. Day two was concluded with a confident game on Larry's by Sadako. 20 pips were attained, putting me at silver two with 25 killers left. Similar to day one and two, I began strongly, achieving 4Ks on both Dredge and Wesker, meaning that we had now played all 29 killers, reaching silver one and only losing four of them. A strong place to be. However, now that we had played all of the killers, it meant that we had to return to Trapper. Once again, I didn't have high hopes. However, I should have trusted Evan. We rolled Midwitch, a strong map for many killers, giving me some hope that maybe we can keep Trapper in this challenge and keep him... We did. We spent time setting up our traps, and the survivors spent time finding, at speed, trapping themselves. Trapper was safe with another 4K. After this success, I was confident that we could ride the momentum with Wraith. However, I couldn't have been more wrong. Wait, they got the door? Do they have wake up? Oh my, Steve, you are ridiculous. Buddy. Buddy. Uh, where's Ace? Where's Ace? Is Ace on the other door? See, if Ace comes now, he just gets out, right? No, 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 no. Ace is here. I just saw Ace. I just saw Ace. There's no way, though. There's no way. Fonk. No. We'd lost another killer to a 10-hook game, and the rest of the day didn't improve. All the previous two-pip games were now one-pips, until we played Hag on Father Campbell's Chapel, where we fell her 110 movement speed, narrowly missing out on the 3k. They're over here. They're this door's done. This door's done. No, it's not. Wait, no, it's not. <gasps> no, it's not. But there's no way. I'm 110. I can't catch up. Yeah, this door's done. I'm li I literally can't catch up. The other person left. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> the door. Cry. So far, day three has yielded 11 pips from eight games, far behind our previous tempo in this challenge. Any way to stabilize and prevent any more killers from being lost. I refocus and load into Torment Creek as the Doctor with the impossible skill check build. A fitting way to get a 4k I thought, especially since my last game of Doctor, it was a 4k at four gens. How wrong I was. After a hard fought three gen, Doctor was out and I called it there for the day. After day three's disaster, I knew that I needed to perform and bounce back and bounce back. I did. We began the day with Bubba, not pipping, but not losing. A fair result for a Bubba game. Next was Freddy, where Jill used her third eye to loop me long enough to prevent me from reaching a fifth stack pentamento. That's too- Oh, now we're in chase. This is perfect. I, I honestly couldn't care less about- What am I stuck on? It's it was a Jill. What is this voodoo magic? What? 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 The games continued. Tough, but winnable. Map after map resulted in win after win until I rolled Ormond on Deathslinger, which had one of the closest ends to a game I've ever been a part of. The, the near healed up? There's not a world that I can, I can kill them now. There's actually not a world. And they're behind there? Okay, I know you're not dead on hook. I've got to sort of bait it. This is the best I do. If they've got... Oh my lordy, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I get a hit? On this survivor without them getting to like the on the other side, you know what I mean? Connor, thank you so much for the raid, buddy. Holy Egg and Sigma. The miner, please donate all points to the Billy Street. Do not do thank that. You. From your friendly neighborhood, David Lover. Spaffy, welcome in, buddy. Connor, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid, buddy. Hit the hit the shot, I think. You think that's the only way? I mean, they have to come through me. As long as I see that they're not going to the door, they have to come through me or they get hatched. Yeah, how is your stream, Connor? How are you doing, buddy? Okay. Okay, we're gonna go for save the best. We're gonna go for save the best. Let's go! We hit it! No way! Come on, come on, go, 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 go! Let's go! Huge! Let's get it! Hey, Bergy, good to see you, my friend. Hey, good to see you! Thank you so much for the raid! I've just got to get them to a hook and I'll be right there. I'll be right there, Connor. Sorry, we're doing a killer hardcore and to win, you've got a 3 or 4k. And this game was unwinnable. But we keep them. <laughs> After a stressful game like that, I needed a calm, dominant game 
and Pyramid Head was the killer to do that, getting a clean 12 hook 4k game to calm the nerves. So day 4, 10 games, 10 wins, the best day I've had yet, and with Blight being the next killer, I was feeling good, until the god window. Survivors could freely loop main over and over again, and loop they did. Blight had fallen. After this was Trickster, where with only one gen left, I had only achieved 4 hooks, but in 2 minutes of misplays by the survivors, I managed to get the seemingly unachievable 4k, keeping Trickster in the challenge. Boldly, I decided to play one more game in the stream, Nemesis. The game was on Crocus Prem Asylum. With all the gens done, I still had all the work to do, with 4 survivors alive. They didn't bait it? Hmm. Okay, big hit, big hit. Yeah, we can fully commit to this at the moment. They do heal up. They do heal up. Okay, Clive is in here. Come on, Clive. We can do this. Okay. That was a dead heart. Okay, we've got to have smart pathing here. We have to have smart pathing. we got to hope that the uh, the ace isn't looking behind them. And hope we mind game. Ooh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take that mind game. Do we see Ada over there? Yeah, we do. Okie dokie. Right, we can get you hooked up. Honestly... The doors are really nice to us as well. Okay. And that's no way out. Gone. So they're literally on the door straight away. I know the Ada is. That door over there. I think they get it. I think they get it. I don't think it matters what we do. Maybe a slug would have been better. It's difficult to say. Difficult to say. We can definitely slug Ada. That's definitely an option to us. Up a binary. Not gone yet. Not gone yet. We do get a hit. Oh, they do open the door, though. They do open the door. You have sprint burst, so no... Um... Oh, really strong body block. No dead, lo uh, dead heart, sorry. <gasps> Wait, it's a gift. It's a gift. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, hook here, hook here. Save the best for last. Let's go. Okay, okay, Nia, Nia, don't do some heroics. Don't do some heroics. Die on hook. There's another hook over there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is Nia? Nia, please be a bad teammate and just leave. Just leave, just leave. It's not worth it. I am... Clive, I agree. Let's face camp this. We had made it to Eerie 4 with 21 killers left. All the progress I had made was about to be undone. Artist fell, Wesker fell, Nurse fell, and Bubba. All in one day. And how many pips did I get for this? One. Day 5 was awful. Now, here I can't tell you how this happened. I somehow got confused and picked Spirit. Yes, it's out of order, but it was almost a huge mistake. This team's just going to go and reset, I think. So I need to just take a, take a risk. Nice. And then maybe I get another, another down here. Oh. Oh my lordy. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Jump, please. Please just leave, please just leave. Please just leave. Please just leave. Please just leave. And nobody have Unbreakable. Okay, thank you. Oh my goodness. Please, 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 please. Trying to... Where... Where's this person, though? Spies? <gasps> Spies from the Shadow is the best perk! Let's go! Oh, please don't have a flip-flop. Please. Please, I just need to get you here. I love Spice from the Shadow. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's so... It's such a good perk. Somehow, some way, we still had spirit. I came into day six a different player, a changed killer. I knew that I couldn't have any more days like day five. I began with Freddy, reaching a five stack penty game against strong opposition. The first 4k and double pip had been reached in what felt like 40 killer game. This momentum was carried forward, only losing Plague in my match to Eerie 2. However, I still needed one more pip until Eerie 2, and matchmaking was making it tough. We encountered strong team after strong team, losing Trickster and Nemesis one after another. A rough few games, I thought, but surely it can't sleep in to a third game as Pinhead. I was right. A DC made the game very playable and I ended day six, Eerie 2, with five pips to end the challenge and 14 killers left. We had now lost over half the killers, but I felt confident going into day seven, the final day. Day seven began as one of the strongest solo queue teams I've ever been against. 
I felt as if every survivor was willing to place their life on the line for each other. Overall, a strong team. Sadako was lost. The rest of the day was plain sailing, getting 4Ks on every killer we played, until we were one pip away from completing the challenge, and it came down to my main, Huntress. I felt confident, as if the challenge was set up for me, but it wasn't to be. The game was over in a matter of seconds, and so no pips were possible. Instead now, it fell to Freddy on Larry's, a difficult map for most. But not for this Freddy. A 4k was reached, and so was Eerie One. The challenge had been completed, with a huge 13 killers left. Over this challenge, I had achieved a 78% win rate, higher than I thought was possible. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and follow my Twitch. I thank you all for watching, and peace.